So the NES cartridge is done, but I kind of want to save some surprises for when we open. So I'm not going to reveal that just yet. We're on a mission to open a brick and mortar retro video game store in 60 days. Good morning. Not too much to do today. The sticker for this is 100% coming today. They keep saying that they are going to come. They said they were going to come Sunday. Then they said they were going to come Monday. It's now Tuesday, but... It's been confirmed they are 100% coming today. I honestly don't think that they're gonna put it on for us, so it's gonna be us trying to get it on correctly, which is gonna be uh, interesting. And then we can get those two things up in the window, including the DK barrel and get that set up. Then I just need to label these shelves. I need to organize this area, get all of the, because these are all the wiring for the testing consoles. I want to get them in individual boxes that are labeled. Some of them are already, but I want to get them all done. This whole floor is being cleaned extensively. Those two Guitar Hero things are pretty much the only things that I haven't tested. I forgot to test them before I put them up there, so I got to do that. We are doing the touch-ups on the paint. For the NES cartridge, they came, they delivered the touch-up paint and the sticker. So we'll do the touch-up paint first, let it dry, and then we'll attempt to apply the sticker. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully it's okay. I should probably turn this off. Also, my dad was, over the past two hours or so, he's cleaning all the floors and looks really, really way better than it did before. So he did all of this half. This along the cabinet front, he still needs to do. and. There was some sticky residue from some old stickers that were here from the previous tenants. He was able to get all that up. We got our rental bundles together. So we're offering two rental bundles to start. It's gonna be kind of a trial to see if they actually do well or not, but we have a GameCube bundle, four controllers and Melee. And then we have an N64 Mario Kart bundle with four controllers and Mario Kart, one first party controller, three third party controllers. Same for GameCube. We wrote up the rental agreement. We need to print that all off because we want to have physical copies and, and a binder instead of online. And then we need to get carrying cases for them. So two carrying cases, probably just get that from Walmart. We also need to make a little blocker piece that goes in front of here because when you drop the ball down, sometimes it like falls out. So we got to get that little piece that comes up and then blocks the ball from falling out. Uh, what else? Got to pick up all our snacks. That's going to be on Thursday, I think. Signs made for disc resurfacing and the console rentals probably be on the wall somewhere. And we'll also have on the consoles that we do rent, we'll have a little sticker attached to the price tag saying, rent me, you can rent me or something. Sticker printed for the front door when we get rid of the coming soon. We want an actual sticker on there. Paint is all touched up. So the NES cartridge is done, but I kind of want to save some surprises for when we open. So. I'm not gonna reveal that just yet. It looks really, really cool though. <laughs> Back from running our errands, we picked up our little piece of trim. So we're gonna cut this to size, paint it black, and then we'll screw it into the bottom there. It works perfectly. It's preventing the ball from falling out, which is great. We got our <laughs> sweet pixelated heart binder with our rental agreements for the console rentals. We also got our sticker printed for the front door. We'll have to cut that out uh, the day of opening and put that up where the coming soon sign is. We got our console bags, or I guess suitcases for when people rent out the consoles. And we really wanted it to be kind of a fun experience if you're renting a console from us. Kind of like the old days where you get the rental case box and stuff, but we don't have the rental case boxes, but we have the next best thing. And these things are actually kind of sick. So that's what you'll get your rental console in if you rent it out. As I said before, we only have two rental consoles right now. Kind of a test. If it works out, we'll end up increasing that and offering more console rentals. Yes, we finally just got verified by Google. So people, if they search video game stores, finally will come up. We've been trying to get verified for almost six weeks and it's finally gone through. Yes. Finished setting up our testing station with all of our consoles. The only console that's not down there is Xbox One and current gen stuff. But other than that, pretty much everything's there. That's the wiring for every console. Each box is labeled with the wiring and one controller. So if we need to test anything at any given time, we can. And we'll probably have a console set up on this TV at all times and people can play if they want. Obviously Super Mario World's there because it's the goat. Painting some blocks. Just some casual blocks. What is? What is that? Mm. Is it surprise? We'll have to check out Moonshine Gaming to find out. All right. <laughs> I'm at home now. Bye.